And I am doing a peek at your person, the tarot reading. All right, Sag. Uh, let's get into your reading here. I have your overall energy. Hmm. Higher power and time to go. Um, I feel like you are listening to your intuition on something and you know it's just, it's time to peace out. It's time to go, time to walk away. Uh, your person has observer and round and round. So I feel like they are watching your fun ass as you walk out the door. <laughs> I do feel like they're watching you, observing you, checking you out on social media, seeing what you're up to because they probably weren't expecting you to walk away even though they kept putting you in these round and round cycles, right? Nothing ever changed, nothing stayed the same, like it was just round and round, which left you at a fork in the road, but you finally decided, you know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave. So let's get into your reading here. Um, current energies for Sagittarius this person. Sag, keep in mind that energies can be flip-flopped and reversed, it is a general reading. Place it where you see fit, oh yeah, are you kidding? You both have your sword drawn at each other. You're <laughs> this could have gotten harsh with some words here. You're both very cold and cut off uh, towards each other. You could be dealing with an air sign, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and we also have three of wands waiting. This person could be waiting, thinking you're gonna come back. Let's see what else is going on. What else is going on? Sagittarius and love. What's going on with their person? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Were they moving really, really slow with, were they the ones that were out of fork in the road? They didn't know what they wanted. So they kept putting you in this cycle. I have King of Pentacles here too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could have been a, a, an option, which is why they were keeping you stuck. Maybe they had, you know, somebody else. Maybe they chose somebody else. And you were like, I'm not waiting. They think you're going to wait for them though. Like how dare them? Yeah, you're, you're walking away towards happiness. The, this hurt. This hurt. Whatever happened between the two of you, it hurt. I feel like they, they chose a different path, but now they're watching you. And were, they were leading you on, trying to keep you stuck, trying to, like, keep you hanging on. They would never take that leap of faith with you. Aries energy. What else? What else blockages? What is with these divine counterparts, these matching pairs that are coming out here? What the heck is this? Was this something where it was just like intense sexual desire between the two of you? But they, they could never commit. Blockages, blockages, blockages. I have Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could never offer you anything. A token of stability, nothing. You guys were not on the same page. They, There was nothing to build towards the future here. Happiness was being blocked. There could have been an age difference here. This person couldn't make up their, their mind. Which is why they kept you round and round and round and round, stuck fork in the road, stuck in the, the middle of the road. Can't make up their mind. You got tired of it. You got tired of it. What's this person's intentions when it comes to, what are their intentions for Sagittarius? It's tough. Tough situation, Sag. It's either they're, they're in a relationship with somebody and you're in a relationship with somebody and there's like somebody else or I don't know. Place it where you see fit. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit chaotic. Um, their intentions is, is to heal this and commit to you after playing around. Yeah, they want to heal. Oh, they don't want to wait anymore, but they can keep you waiting. Waiting. 
It's because you pulled your energy back and they know it. Oh, I can't lose Sag. I can't lose my, my Sagittarius. I can treat them like crap and I can do what I want, but they can't walk away from me. I want them back. I want to heal this. Oh, I'll commit now. Now I'll commit. What else? Their intentions. To reignite the flame. Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh, they're jealous. Their emotions are not in check. They're, they're stressing. They're stressing now. Now they want to balance the scales. They want to balance things out and come towards you. Let's do this slow. Let's do this right. Virgo energy. They're trying to be methodical on how to come towards you and offer you a token of stability. And when I say a token, I mean a token, a tiny little token. A gold-plated fake-ass token. How do they feel? How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel about you? Page of Cups. Oh, oh they're going to apologize. It's not sweet. Well, what, what is going on? Now I got King and Queen of Cups. <laughs> they know that they have caused a lot of stress. They played you for a fool. I feel like they know that. I also feel like now they want to take that leap of faith. Because you walked away, because you pulled your energy back, they feel that disconnect. And they want to come back and offer commitment. But I don't believe them. I don't... King of Swords, Aquarius energy again. I feel like this person has secrets that they maybe will never share with you. Three of Cups. Regrets. They have regrets for putting you in some kind of a third party situation. For some of you, for some of you, for some of you, they may have gotten themselves pregnant or somebody else pregnant. And that could be a big secret that they were keeping it. That message is for maybe like one of you, so. And you, I feel like you found out about it, so you would know. It's not something that. But I do feel like they have secrets that they're never going to tell you, and I don't feel like it's that. <laughs> oh, man. They have regrets. They could have they could have had a child with somebody else, and that's like maybe they're still secretly connecting and hooking up and keeping you in the dark. I don't know. I feel like you found out something that was enough to be like, I'm out of here. I'm running away. Let's see. What are you going to do? Who's this King of Cups? Who's this Scorpionic energy that's showing up? The devil in reverse. Do you have somebody else you're moving towards? You have Capricorn energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, no Virgo. You're, you're moving towards somebody else. You walked away from this person to go towards somebody else. It could be a water sign that you're moving towards. Like, gang is all here. Everybody is here. <sighs> Empress. Taurus energy. Secrets out. Secrets out. So this is something they wanted to, like, never have come out, but it came out. Whatever this this deep, dark, hidden secret was, it did end up coming out. So you know what this is. So it could, it could, I re retract my words, it could have something to do with, like, a pregnancy or uh, maybe they were married or in, in a higher level of commitment or something and they were lying to you about it. The secret came out. And it's right in between the Empress and Ten of Pentacles. Family, home, long-term commitment, loyalty. Hmm. 
Hmm. What are you gonna do? What's what's Sage's moves here? You, you are not reconciling with them. Nope. Judgment in reverse. Scorpionic energy. You are not taking this person back. Yep. You're rejecting them, ignoring them. You're making that decision. And you're going after your own new stable beginning. Something that's a wish fulfillment. I feel like you have somebody else here. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or if that's who you're leaving behind. They're stressing, they're stressing. You're, you're moving on, you're moving on. You're not going to be kept in the dark anymore. Yeah, you made that decision. All right. If you guys are resonating with this, woo, you are moving on to a soulmate, higher level of commitment, somebody that can give you what you want, stability, be on the same page, build together, work as a team. It's going to like level you up. I feel like it's a water sign that you're moving towards. And I feel like you could be moving away from either a fire sign or sorry, an air sign or an earth sign. It doesn't matter, you guys. Could be anybody. Place it where you see fit. But you are. You're leaving this person to go towards something that is going to give you commitment. Long-term commitment. This person couldn't do that. They kept you stuck in cycles. All right. Obstacles for Sagittarius to overcome. Experiencing conditioning. This person messed with your head big time. So now it's like undoing that wiring. You know, undoing all that conditioning come overcoming the intensity of it this person could have been a little bit of like a narcissist or a gaslighter or projected a lot onto you i feel like now you're being receptive to what this person really was or what they did to to you and to this relationship everything's coming to light you're you're ha aha moment aha moment epiphany one right after another with this person realizing the truth all right let's see Advice for Sag. Cycles. Momentum force, force life cycles. Stay grounded in the now. This, this was a karmic, big karmic cycle. Else for Sag. Material world, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. This person could have leaned on you for material status, money. Spring, your love is blooming. Um, balance, yin yang, darkness, light. Stay centered in your higher self. What? What did I say? Karmic partner? Did I say that? Yeah. Yeah. Conventional relationship lessons. It was a lesson. All right. Let's see. What would this person like to say to you? Sagittarius. I feel you, even though we are apart, we will be together again. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yeah, they're starting to understand. I'm becoming a better person. They're starting to understand that you pulled your energy away. You're done. And now they, they're in uh, panic mode. Can't lose you. I focused on you instead of my pain, which could be what you're saying to them. I feel like you gave and gave and they took and took. Leaving you hurt me too. I'm waiting for an apology. You could be waiting for an apology. I feel like it's just to get your own closure, you know? All right, I'm going to pull some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. If I pull too many, sorry. Uh, Q-X-Z-K-O-B-E-T-W. And I have N-S-F-V-U. <laughs> It's a lot of letters, I know, but I do what I do. All right, let's see. Uh, numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years. Could be a date of significance, an age, an angel number. Place it where you see fit. I have 3, 5, 7, 11. So it could be the 3rd, 5th, 7th, or 11th of any month, March, May, um, July, or November. Zodiac signs could be their sun sign, strong placements in their charts. Uh, something could happen during that season, like Sagittarius season, for instance. All right. 
Okay, we have Scorpio, Aries, Leo, and Aquarius. Scorpio, Aries, Leo, and Aquarius. Could be any sign, you guys. Place it where you see fit. Please hit that subscribe button.